It's difficult to explain with words. It's something that one has to experience. When the sound penetrates you and it takes you away, you are being almost catapulted into a different dimension. Why do people come to me? For many it's curiosity, for others it's friends told them, wow, you have to check this out. For others, they have set out on that path to go to deeper levels within themselves and to discover layers that they may not have been able to tap into or discover otherwise. Because who you are is inside. That's and I, idea. my food doc just told me that the other day. Oh, cool. Yeah, I had to have an emergency session. I was stressed. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk about the weight struggles. Wow, a lifelong struggle. Um, where can I start? My name is Tony Morales, and I would consider myself a life student in transformation. Food has been my greatest friend, and it's also been my worst enemy. And I discovered it really early on. I was um, 10. There was a two hour time frame after school that I was alone in the house. And so the feelings of abandonment developed there, the feelings of anxiety, panic, um, not being able to be alone and just sit with me and feel safe and comfortable. And that resonated with me throughout my entire life. And food became a way of making sure that I could get through that. I navigated through life hiding this big secret, but really I wasn't hiding. I was at one point over 300 pounds. So there was nothing I was hiding, but I felt so ashamed of it that I couldn't even face it. And so that shame makes the cycle perpetuate itself. It wasn't until I connected all of those feelings of anxiety with my triggers and understanding what food really is supposed to be that I began to heal and look for alternative methods besides dieting. You all look very comfortable. Mm -hmm. I wish I could join you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I know. Awesome, wonderful. Excellent. You know, I went just, I was, I'd like to say I was open to it, but then when I went in there, I, I couldn't get out of my head. All I'm going to hear is the gong. gong. <laughs> That's all I kept doing. So my misgivings were, what is this going to do for me? How is, you know, this sound going to open anything up in my mind or my body? So the ancients knew about the, let's say, scientific aspects of sound and what it can do to one who wants to connect with your higher self and with the universal energy. I like to believe that I create pictures with sound. I have different insights or different visions, if you want, that can range from memories of childhood to natural settings. It's a very broad tapestry of visuals. It's kind of like snippets of different movies, if you want. Envisioning or intending is a large part of all of this work. And... Um, I would not exclude the possibility that many of the insights that I have and that anybody has who partakes in these uh, meditation sessions envisions and sees 
snippets of a possible future.
sound healing. It has been transformational. It has been enlightening. It has been probably the single greatest connecting factor of all of the things that I was trying to work on. So it has connected my food, my heart, my soul, my body, my mind, those five things that's connected all of it. And um, in a way that just makes me excited about my future and where I'm going in life. I'm going straight up. <laughs> Over time, due to stress, we create an imbalance. We create blockages within ourselves that prevent a most natural flow of chi, prana, energy. We are all energy. It's all vibration. Everything is vibrating at all times. And it's through the vibration that you experience a very deep, degree of personal transformation. Sound is a fantastic vehicle for one to tap into that power.